What's up guys, Kenny from the KRVR, and today we're going to be looking at another one of my Christmas presents. As you can tell, yeah, they're Oakley's polarized. That's exactly what you want when you're buying a pair of sunglasses. Now the first question I'm going to ask is, well, why buy Oakley's? Well, it's quite a simple question to answer. They're just amazing. When I look out of these, the world looks like a much brighter place. I know that sounds very cheesy, but it's... It's true. All the colors seem to pop more. I don't have to deal with a lot of glare. It really cuts down on that. It makes a really, really big difference. I've uh, looked through other glasses. I've looked through Armani's. I've looked through Ralph Lauren's glasses. And I'm going to be honest with you, it's like looking through a plastic bag by comparison. These are amazing glasses. I have a pair of half jackets that are also polarized. And I wouldn't go anywhere without them. They're amazing. But now I can replace them with these. I'm probably going to use those as working glasses anyway. So when you pick up these Oakleys from the store, this is what you get. This is a pretty standard box. Most of the boxes look like this. This one just happens to be large because these are the radar paths. So they're not exactly small glasses. Looking on the back here, you just have some barcodes and some lettering and Oakley stuff and all their dribble written all over the place. But anyway, you go and you open the box up. It's got this kind of cool clasp thing here. And you take out the, those are the glasses in their case. And you get a bunch of other stuff as well. So, looking at what you get right here, this would be the one year warranty. It's just standard with Oakley's. I replace the lenses once a year anyway because they just tend to wear out because I wear them pretty much every day. Even here in Ohio, I wear them pretty much every day. So, but that's just still nice to have. Then you get this for their exclusive mailing list. Yeah, very, very exclusive. But, uh, whatever, that's also kind of nice to have. You also get some instructions here about how to put the lenses in and how to take them out. How to also put a new nose piece in and what have you. So that's all you get from that. You also get a spare nose piece. So if you're ready to replace that, there it is. I know they like to give these to people because they're easy to lose and sometimes they just fall off if you wear them excessively like I do. So that's what you get there. Very nice to have. So looking in the soft case. Yeah, very soft. No, it's designed to protect the glasses very well, and it does a great job. I have the same case, a little bit smaller, uh, with the half jackets because they're smaller glasses, but I have the same case. It's got a very styrofoamy top here, very soft to protect the glasses, and uh, very sturdy here. This is what gives it that uh, rigi rigidity. That's kind of a difficult word to say. Anyway, so you go and open up this bag. If you watched my review in the Swiss Army Victronox that I have, it has a bag similar to this that you can just throw the watch in. Same general concept with the glasses. If you don't want to put them in the case, you just put it in here and it'll you know, keep it from being scratched. So you take them out and there they are. Very, very nice looking glasses. Very popular. Everybody seems to look really, really good in these glasses. They're just classic. They've got a great side profile, front profile, uh, all around, you know, very, very nice looking. Here, as you can see on the back of the glasses, these uh, two points here, they are pretty close together. Yeah, it's, a, it's you know, you can feel that the glasses... Uh, pinch down a little bit and that's because these are biking glasses what they're designed for is to stay on your head when you're biking and they do a great job so if you don't like that little bit of pressure I mean these may not be the glasses for you you may want something that's a little bit looser fitting but honestly I've worn them for several days now and I really you don't feel it after a while I mean it takes about five seconds to get used to and you're all set as you can see, they have these air scoops, is what I'm going to call them right here. And that's just the channel air around your head when you're biking at speed. Lance Armstrong actually wears a pair of these. Uh, they, Oakley honors him by making an Armstrong edition, which it's just yellow. That's really the only difference. Those aren't even polarized glasses. I guess you could put these lenses in them, but they don't come polarized. 
So looking at the glasses here, they have a pretty good uh, profile. If you want to see how these look on me, watch my vlog, which will hopefully be up around the same time this is loaded, so you can see how they look on uh, my face. But they look very, very good. They're pretty light because this, is, this isn't the bare carbon fiber like what Ryan has. This happens to be uh, iridium, and these aren't custom. These are standard glasses. I kind of like this look a little bit better than that custom carbon fiber look. I think it's just too BMW M3-ish. But they're all around very, very nice. The lenses, like I said, are polarized. They're very, very uh, sturdy lenses. Don't have a lot of give to them. They're, they're, you know, I like them a lot. They have a coating on them which is anti-smudge and anti-reflective. And they also have an anti-water or coating on them so what it does is when there's water that's hitting the glasses it'll just come right off when you go to swipe it off like that you aren't going to smother the glasses at all which is really nice I like having that feature a lot because when I'm biking I'll come home and my glasses will be filthy but now I don't have to worry about that all around very very nice glasses I recommend them highly you can pick these up for about $260 directly from oakley.com which is what I recommend you do uh, that's a very good place to get them. However, if you go to a place like the Sunglass Hut, for instance, a very well-renowned sunglass store, you can pick them up there as well for a pretty good price. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. This is Kenan at the KRVR. If you haven't already, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.